Hey, Perry Peacock here with Wilderness Innovation. Seems like uh, everybody's coming up with stoves this year. And uh, this is another stove that uh, we started looking at that's available. And we wanted to do a little review on it. And, uh, and uh, we want to just show you how this thing all goes together, unpack it, and all that sort of thing. And then we'll uh, do some uh, clips from a number of uh, field tests and that sort of thing. And uh, show you what it can do and a little bit about it. All right, so let's unpack the stove, the ember light. The ember light stove comes with a little instruction sheet that shows you how to put it together, but we'll refer to that if we need to. Um, <laughs> first thing we want to talk about is there's actually five pieces to this stove. There's three pieces here that are all identical, and these are the sides and the back. Then there's a bottom panel that's kind of like an ash pan. And there's the front panel, uh, at least we'll call it the front, it has the, uh, the, the logo and the feed hole for the wood. All right, so this is uh, one of the three uh, uh, side panels. The, the, the back and the two sides are all identical like this. And there's a little slot in each of the four ears right here. And that's how each of the, four, each of the panels engage with each other and lock in. Then there's a horizontal slot in each of the panels uh, where there's a tab on the bottom piece that slides into that slot. So that is like right here. That tab right there slides into there. So let's show you how you put this together. If we can figure it out. Well, we can. We're really good at this. All right. So what you want to do is put it together so that you're pushing up with the piece in your right hand. And what we're doing is there's a little groove right here. There's a little groove right here in all of these little ears. And all we're doing is interlocking the ears together into the grooves. And uh, one thing that we do know is that these grooves are very tight. We'd recommend to the manufacturer that maybe they put a little relief or chamfer on the edges to help kind of guide everything in. But it's not too bad if you kind of, if you're pushing down on both sides like this as you slide it together, it kind of forces it to find center. Now we've got the three sides in here, and uh, I wanted to get a suntan. Oh, that's not on there. <laughs> what's, that, what's that actor's name that has the permanent suntan? What's his name? I can't think of who he is. I don't know. Crap. I know who you're talking about. But Is it still running? Yeah. Okay. You want to do a new frame? We'll do just a little funny thing here. Sounds good. Whenever you're... Is it running now? Oh, it's been going. Oh, it's still going. We're still going, so we have an <laughs> ongoing blooper here. Whoever that guy is with the permanent sun's tan, it's a movie star. Well, you know, we can go like this and get a little suntan if we want to at this point with the stove. You know, we like to have everything be multi-purpose, so, you know, there you go. <laughs> Just a little fun side light. All right, now, you notice that the bottom panel has three tabs on it. Um, no tab goes in the front, so basically these three pieces we've got here, I like to put it in that back tab, back slot first. And we just catch each side here, pull those together. Now we've got our stove in this position here. So now it's ready for the final piece. This is the this is the hardest part of it um, coming up here. So now we've got all these pieces together. We've got to just pull them together. It's it's not bad to this point. Now now at this point, what we've got to do is we've got to twist the stove slightly in order to get uh, this other side in. So it's easiest not to have me show you. It's easiest for me to kind of get a position where it's convenient for me. And what I found is if you push in on all corners like that, it will slide right together. Once it's together, you know, it's, pretty, it's not going anywhere. All right. So now it's together. This thing is uh, three quarters of a pound. Um, it's 24 gauge stainless steel and uh, 
This hole right here is your fuel feed hole, and we'll show you in the use video uh, segment coming up uh, how we fire this thing up and uh, how we use it. All right, now that we've got the stove all put together, um, let's uh, look at some segments here where we use the stove and we show you some of the features of how to use it and some of the things you can do with the stove. All right, so uh, now we're up, up in the hills here and uh, going to go ahead and uh, set up this uh, Emberlit stove and uh, give it a kind of a one through here. Let's uh, put some fire in this thing and let's see where we go from here. So we can pick up the stove and kind of uh, get it into the wind and everything. Let's just see what happens here. I'm going to use my uh, Wilderness Innovation uh, fire starter here. Magnesium. Five scrapes. That's all the magnesium we need right there. So let's see if we can uh, get this stuff started and shoot it into there. Okay, we did. All right. So now, now I'm just going to kind of hold the stove like this for a moment. Kind of let the wind kind of carry this a little bit. All right. One of the uh, features of this stove is uh, most twig type stoves. You you get to feed your fuel from the top. Uh, our twig stove you feed from the top side this one you feed from the bottom side and what you do is you just take sticks uh, one of the advantages here is you don't have to be breaking all these sticks up into light, tiny little pieces you just start shoving them through the side and as the sticks burn you just kind of keep feeding them into there and you can kind of regulate your temperature by you know the type of wood you have and uh, how many sticks and, and that sort of thing. Uh, typically it's best to have two or three different sticks in there with a little gap and everything where you know they can kind of feed off of each other and burn. Okay now we can notice that down kind of down in the bottom here it's we've got us a pretty hot bed of coals and uh, well, in fact we're even we've even got a little bit of flaming going on out here sort of but uh, We've got us a good little bed down in there, and that's kind of keeping all this stuff going here. So let's see. Let's just keep this thing going a little longer and see what comes out of it. Now here's one other thing that, for me, I like to cook in these. Uh, I like to cook in these little uh, stainless steel cups, but um, the stove's a little bit too big for me to realistically, in fact I can't get it out of there now. <laughs> uh, the top of it's a little too big for me to get my stove in and out of there properly. Or my cup I mean. So now, oh man, it's become quite tight here. It slid in pretty easy. If I can get out of here without spilling the water all over here and putting the fire out will be doing good. Now if you're cooking in something like that, well that's perfect. So that's pretty nice. But I don't know, I like I like to use my cup. So I don't know, I'm going to try bending this in a little. This isn't going to be very exact here because <laughs> I'm kind of doing this out in the field here. No measurements or anything. Just kind of bending this over. Just thinking my cup fits, it almost fits, it's pretty close. There we go. There's another thing I kind of like about the stove is it's got kind of a pyramidal sort of shape to it. It's a little narrower at the top than the bottom. And uh, when I put my cup on there, it kind of holds enough of the heat in that and on a lot of small stoves, even with these handles, sometimes I get a little bit hot, but it's kind of holding enough of that heat in where it's kind of containing it and holding a lot of that heat inside onto the bottom of my cup. So it, it seems to be working really, really nicely that way. Um, we did make a few modifications 
Um, we did this little bend over here so that uh, as you saw in the video earlier so I can set my little 18 ounce stainless steel cup on there uh, and and see <clears throat> we did that so it all still nests together nicely other than that little flare right there but I mean so that's not bad we did get a little bit of warpage out of it as you kind of I don't know if you can see it real good on camera the little profile here it does kind of warp slightly but it has it doesn't affect how it goes together or anything like that okay so one other thing we did do is if you look right in here uh, we actually uh, sanded out the uh, the slots a little bit um, just to make it easier to go together they they go together all right and the more you do it it's fine but we took about twenty thousandths more out of there makes it so it slams together a lot easier and then we put a little chamfer on this edge here it was uh, straight to kind of a sharp corner so we kind of put a little chamfer there just some you know very minor things really but um, just some stuff that kind of helps the stove to go together real easily it's it's not that difficult anyway but we just it was just to find just some fine tuning so anyway all in all uh, overall we like the uh, emberlit stove uh, the, the primary features is it's lightweight um, the uh, side feeding from the bottom for fuel, that's kind of a handy feature. Uh, so you don't have to take a, a pot off the top or anything like that to refill the stove. Um, you're able to burn for a, as long a period as you want. Just keep feeding fuel on the bottom and you're good to go. Um, and uh, seemed, it seemed uh, relatively sturdy. We could, we could put uh, fairly heavy pans on it and it still stood up fine. I think part of that's due to the pyramidal type shape to it, kind of helps stabilize it, uh, even though it's light and the way the corners all lock in and everything. Um, the uh, really the about the only negative things that we had was the put together. Seeing the the uh, the fitting seems to be a little tight, so we did um, make some modifications there, as we just explained, and um, and then. Uh, also, the other thing that we we also did was uh, take one of these with some of these some of these edges uh, along here where the radiuses are cut and some of those and a few places along here it was actually kind of there's some sharpness on some of those so we just took some fine sandpaper and uh, it didn't take but a few minutes just to sand those down and smooth them up. And you know, our stove is one of the first uh, production uh, samples to run off the line, so probably that'll be fixed uh, time anybody uh, places orders or whatever. But even if not, like I say, it's only a few minutes just to remedy that. But overall, it's a nice little stove, nice lightweight, reasonable price uh, in the mid 30s. So uh, take care, have a have a great day, enjoy your time out. If you get a chance, try one of these stoves. Uh, today featuring uh, a little review on the Ember Lip Stove. Perry Peacock, Wilderness Innovation. Hey, I just got an idea. Ah, where's the sunshine? I could be like, who's that actor? George Hamilton, yeah. Got the permanent suntan on the face here. Is it working yet? Well, anyway, I guess we better get back to putting the stone together.